this is Michelle. We're going to work on brushing her out, so let's get busy. Before I get started, I am going to mist her over with the Artero Mix Conditioner and lightly brush it over the coat just to get it worked in. To properly brush a Pomeranian, you should line brush. I'm going to start with my pin brush, pushing the hair up and brushing the coat down, creating the line. You should be able to see all the way down to the skin. When you're doing this, you will see if there's any mats or packed in undercoat. And here we have found a nice tight little mat. This mat we can pick apart with our fingers. Then using our Artero Long Pen Slicker, once the mat is broken up with our fingers, we can go in and pick, pick, pick with the brush. Go behind the brush with the comb and check to see if you've gotten the mat out. If the comb snags, go back in with your fingers and pick, pick, pick. Good girl. If the dog wants to lay down during brushing, that is great. I highly encourage a dog to lay down during brushing. When they're laying down, you can have really easy access to everything. So here we have another mat. We're going to pick it apart with our fingers as best as we can. You start to get it loosened up and broken up. Then with the corner of your brush, pick, pick, pick. Go back in with your fingers, pull. Go back in and line brush. And if you're just brushing over the top, you are not getting anywhere near the skin. That is why line brushing is so important. If your dog will not sit still and let you brush it, it's training that the dog needs on how to sit still. And the training involves consistency, calmness, quietness, comfort. You never wanna be heavy handed or agitated. And heavy handedness is not as in being mean, it's as being hard with your hands. Pushing here up with your hands, create the line. Check in behind the ears real good. Push this hair up. Brush backwards. Good girl. Up under the neck, it's a little trickier to line brush. So I'm holding the bib up with my thumb and just using the end of the brush to come in here. This is an area that gets quite matted. You have to really pay attention. And just work all the way around. Good girl. While I am line brushing, 
my goal is to get through the coat, break it all up, find mats, and see where my trouble areas are. Just always creating the line wherever I go, if the dog will allow me. So back in the pants is another trouble area and the tail where you will have matting. Which this dog does. She's got a big mat in her tail right here. I'm gonna go in and break it up with our fingers. So what causes matting in Pomeranians? The number one cause for matting in Pomeranians is bathing. You prevent mats during bathing by being sure the same day as the bath, and especially after the bath, brushing and combing the dog from one end of the body to the other. If you do not do this, any packed in undercoat is going to felt down near the skin and cause these sorts of mats. So this one's really tight and it's in a very tender area. So I'm going to use a pair of thinning shears. So it won't take out much hair. It's going to be just enough to get into that mat and break it up a little bit for us. Then using my brush, I'm going to pick, pick, pick. Pull, pick, 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 and pull. You can also take the end tine of your comb and stick it into that mat and use that to break it up a bit. Now your Pomeranian should never have mats, but in all reality, mats do happen, right guys? We try to prevent them as best we can. All right, let's feel her over and see how we're doing. Good girl. So now I'm going to line brush her with the Artero Long Pen Slicker. I'm going back over her with this brush now that the coat is completely loosened up and prepared for a bit stiffer of a brush. This will help to loosen up any more undercoat that I might have missed and just double check over everything for me. Make sure that no packed in coat is left in there to mat up between now and her next groom. Don't overbrush or overcomb your Pomeranian. Checking over the coat once a week is sufficient. Do not use a fine tooth comb. Do not use de-shedding tools because this is a primitive coat type. You can actually do damage to your Pomeranian's coat by overbrushing and overcombing. You do not want to clip your Pomeranian short. There is a thing called Pomeranian post-clipping alopecia, and your dog can have permanent coat damage from clipping it too short. Not all Pomeranians have that problem, but some do. And we would hate for your Pomeranian to be the one. But that coat damage can also come from over combing your dog's coat with too fine a comb or brushing your dog with too stiff of a brush. Keeping the Pomeranian coat is an art. And once you learn that art, it becomes very, very easy. And when you use the right tools, it is very comfortable for your dog, as you can see by her behavior. When you use too stiff of a brush, 
or too fine of a comb, it pulls and drags in your dog's coat and it's very uncomfortable. Now we're going to mist over her again with the coat conditioner and using our wide tooth comb, we're going to comb her out. Combing the Pomeranian is a specific process. You shouldn't be able to take your comb in and slide it out. It's more of a starting at the skin and pick, 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 pick out to the end of the coat. That picking action will make sure that there's no packed in coat in there, but not pull and drag on your dog's coat or rip out unnecessary coat. So we're going in by the skin and pick, pick, pick. You wanna do this over your dog's entire coat, being sure that the comb will pick from the skin out. Good girl. You just go over every inch of the dog to get to the underside of the dog. You can flip the dog over. Once the dog is on their back, scratch their chest to help them stay into place. And then you can get to the dog's entire underside. If your dog fights this, start training them how to do it. Put them on their back every day on a nice, soft, cushiony surface. You can use a bath mat or a microfiber pad, or you can use a palm mat. They are linked below. And while the dog is upside down, you can get inside. Now see if she goes to get up. We're going to just calm her down, scratch her chest. Good girl. Let her know she needs to stay. Good girl, stay. Good. And she does have a little mat up there. I don't want to tug it out, especially not with her in this position, but I'm making note where it's at so I can come back and get it from behind the dog. You don't want to do anything uncomfortable when they're in this position especially in the training process. When it's time to when it's time to let the dog up, give them a release word. In my house and in my salon, the release word is, "Okay. Good girl." So I praised her for getting up after I gave her the word, and I used my hands in an up motion to help her to see that coming up is what I wanted. Be sure to comb out behind the ears. You should always work on your dog on a surface, a table, a dining room table, a coffee table, the washing machine, a grooming table, a picnic table. Find a spot where you have a surface that you can put the dog on, then put a non-slip cushiony pad on top of that surface to make this whole process very comfortable. Right? All right, she's all brushed out. Yes, you are. Good girl. Be sure when you're finished brushing to give your dog their favorite treat, throw their favorite toy, make it a really big deal that they did a great job. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching guys. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload.